Enjoy the story by taking control of our tormented main character and guiding him to freedom. <laughs> Enjoy difficult challenges. There are a limited number of items you can use in the puzzle. <sighs> Battle another player to determine the winner in various puzzle stages. Battle an online opponent. You can also play co-op with a friend. Change various settings. <laughs> Enjoy the story. Start from the beginning of the story. Simple nightmares will haunt our protagonist. Choose this if you'd like to play at a relaxed pace. Average nightmares will haunt our protagonist. Choose this if you'd enjoy a bit of a challenge. Simple night. In this mode, all blocks will be the usual size. Recommended for those looking for traditional gameplay. In this mode, unusually shaped blocks will appear in the puzzles. Recommended for those looking for a fresh experience. In this mode, all blocks will be the usual size. Recommended for those looking for traditional gameplay. Very well. Please enjoy the world of Catherine Fullbody in comfort. <laughs> Bodied wine is the best. Oh dear. <laughs> 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 When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said, this is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. 
<laughs> His outcome depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die? You fucking serious? There's no time limit on easy difficulty, so the ground below will not fall. You have plenty of time to think about your next move. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the A button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L button to undo it. Moreover, on easy difficulty, 
You can use autoplay to climb automatically. If you can't figure out how to proceed, press the R button to enable autoplay. Alright, All right, I got it. Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. Alright, All right, I got it. Alright, I got it. These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean, they connect at the edges? Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. All right, I got it. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. What is this ringing? If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. All right, I got it. Edge. Out through here. about to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Listening? Uh, sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning.
So are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? No. No, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No. I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just... My mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose... And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled Hey, out. change it! The match is on! Oh, two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. That's right. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What'd I know? The fight hasn't officially started, but this battle's already begun. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but... Wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> The boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Oh, way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Uh, I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning... 
I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Whoa. Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I... I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, oh, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. See ya. She managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Everything okay now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. Yeah, it's nothing really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. Got a mail. From time to time, you'll receive texts at the bar. You can respond to some of them. Give it a try. change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just changed jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail.
Yeah, what's up? I wanted to apologize for cutting our meeting short this morning. I don't mind. You had to meet with a friend, right? It was a woman, just so you know. I think you knew her in high school. It's okay. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. You have to go to work early tomorrow, right? Don't stay out too late. Good night. Ah, it's late. Would you like to save your progress? some new faces. That poor lost soul is particularly intriguing. You'll find there are many lost sheep in the prison of despair. <laughs> dream again the hell I was at the bar and this girl came in and then Damn, I can't remember what's going on you the new guy from last night voice you're that guy from yesterday listen watch out for the cracked blocks they'll break after you step on them Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics, such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Edge. All right. All right. All right, I got it. I got it. All right. Whoa. All right, I got it. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new path along the edges. You'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing while dragging a block. By crawling along those edges, you may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. All right, I got it. All right. All right, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. This technique is vital to your success. Be sure to get comfortable with it. All right, I got it. pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the goal. Gather as many as you can.
It's ringing. We're gonna get out of here. Huh? Edge. See you at the landing. Everybody else is there, too. Who's everyone? Hey, hey, wait a sec! Once you've crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. like you survived. Wh who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is a sheep but me. Wait, I recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, no, no. No, no wait. You hurry too. Hey, hey, hey! You can't be serious. You can save in the notebook and talk with other sheep on the landings. Go on, talk to them. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It grays out once they have nothing more to say. someone other than yourself, given our present circumstances. I'm going to reward you with an oil field. An oil field? Ah, my usual habit. <laughs> what is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here! What is this place? What? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? I've had it. Get me out Maybe this will be useful. You want me to teach you the technique I found? Yeah, let's do it. 
All right. Remember, this is Todd's technique. Allow me to explain the pyramid. Pull out the same number of blocks as the number of steps you mean to climb up. You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. What you think? Nice. Uh -huh. mm, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one, too. Allow me to explain the slider. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. Uh, yeah, I did. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. I'll have to use that next time. Damn it! I'm gonna survive! Even if it means kicking off others! If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too! Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? <laughs> they told me to go up. But what's up there? G give me a break! Nice to see you here, and welcome to the confessional. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. I guess you could call me its supervisor. I sense a force of change rising up. What exactly happened in the other world? I guess it doesn't matter. You lambs are all destined to die here anyway. What? Are you ridiculous? But before I kill you, I want to determine the value of your life. So you'll have to answer some questions. Question one. What expectations do you have for your significant other? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. That's your choice? That's surprising. Hey, who are you? Are you doing all this? I told you. I'm just the supervisor. Someone else brought you here. It's someone you know. Ugh. You never know what people are actually thinking. To learn the truth, you must survive. Then you can think about what's going on here. Let's head to the next trial. There's still more? Commencing area two. Are you ready? Whoa! All right, I got it. Yay! Edge. I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah, as you climb, you'll run into strange items. St 
strange items? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll try to remember it for later. You can only carry one item at a time, but each one has a very useful purpose. Don't worry about using an item at the wrong time. If you regret it, you can always undo. When you use a white block, a 3x3 platform will appear at your feet. This enables you to create footing even in tight spaces. How's this? Edge. All right, I got it. Whoa. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. What the hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. Alright, I got it. I got it. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep? They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But... I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! Great. At the landings, you can learn tips on how to climb. Moving blocks around mindlessly won't work. Try to pick up some useful techniques here. New techniques will be written down by the other sheep. What the hell? Hmm? What do you want? No, nothing. Let's make it out alive. I'm not sure how I feel about being encouraged by a sheep. But I guess it's better than being a chef. Or even worse, a kitchen hand. Huh? What's a kitchen band? I said hand, you idiots! Kitchen hand? Like a cook? Pay attention. Oh, sorry. <sighs> kitchen band. 